Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Only see the son of Nube is my name and I hope I find you well wherever you are. It's a beautiful Monday. It's a sunny Monday here in Johannesburg. And uh, all seems to be promising for a wonderful week. Uh, I hope uh, many of you have already heard about the subtraction of the waiver from ZEP holders who are trying to move to the mainstream South African permits. This is what I want to talk about because there seems to be a lot of confusion and disagreements, uh, especially uh, on the streets of social media on what exactly uh, is to be done. I'm still getting a number of questions from people who want to find out if it is indeed true that ZEP holders who are migrating from the ZEP to the mainstream South African visa, especially the general work visa, still need to apply for a waiver. And many are asking what they should do, especially those that have already applied for a waiver and are awaiting the outcome of their applications. So this is what I want to address you about to avoid any uh, further confusion or to prevent any further confusion, to address the confusion that is already uh, on the ground. So before I go ahead, may I request that you subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it. So what I've seen, uh, especially on social media, is that people seem to be confused after the statement from the Minister of Home Affairs where he stated that he has um, wavered the certificate from the South African Qualifications Authority, number one. Number two, that he had wavered the Department of Employment and Labor Certificate and he said that applies to those who have already applied for the waiver, those who are applying for the waiver and those that are going to apply or contemplate applying for the waiver. So what this means is that everyone who is on the ZEP is now no longer required to produce the SACA certificate. Everyone who is on the ZEP is no longer required to produce the Department of Employment and Labor certificate. What this practically means is that there is no more need for a ZEP holder to then apply for a waiver before they can migrate to the South African general work visa. So what we did to seek clarity so that we don't come here and lie to you or misrepresent what is needed of you, uh, we spoke to the Department of Home Affairs officials last week. We also spoke to VFS officials last week and we have spoken to people who tried to go and submit their documents. That is ZEP holders. It has to be clear that we are talking here specifically about ZEP holders. So if you are not a ZEP holder, remain as you were. This doesn't address you this doesn't address your situation, but only the situation of those who are on the Zimbabwe exemption permit. So, the department and the VFS are agreed on the fact that Zimbabwe exemption permit holders who are applying for the general work visa no longer need to go via the waiver. Because the main reason why people on the ZEP required a waiver before they could sojourn from the ZEP to the mainstream South African general work visa was because mainly of the red tape which is addressed uh, under the need to produce a Department of Employment and Labor Certificate. There's, they have a lot of red tape before they can grant you that kind of a certificate. 
and it has got a lot to do with why you are already here why were you employed and uh, why should you be employed before south africans who can do a similar job so the minister said it now becomes nonsensical for somebody who's already in south africa somebody who's already working in south africa to then be required to create, to produce proof why they will be employed ahead of a south african so this becomes a demand after the fact so what it means is that because you are already in south africa and already employed you no longer need to produce that kind of a certificate because it's meant for somebody who is yet to be employed mainly and then the second one is because zep holders are people of low skill who are um, who are given this kind of a, a a permit based on the fact that they are not qualified for any job in south africa it then becomes unnecessary or unfair for them to then be required to produce uh, an evaluation of their certificates or of their qualifications from the south african qualifications authority because these are people who are already known that they don't meet the qualification criteria so they were given this special dispensation based on the fact that they are underqualified or unqualified to get any form of a mainstream visa in south africa but now that the zep has been discontinued or is in the process of being discontinued the minister then said why make it even more difficult for these people because at the end of the day they will be criminalized when all along they have been legally in south africa so he wavered those two certificates that is the those two needs that is the need to evaluate your qualifications with the saka or and the pro, pro, to produce the department of employment and labor certificate so we then spoke to the dha and uh, vfs officer officials who said yeah people can directly sojourn from the zep to the general work visa which means if you want a general work visa you have to apply directly for it it doesn't matter if you have already applied for a waiver and you have been granted or you have yet been granted the waiver but apply for a general work visa don't await the outcome of your waiver application for as long as you are using the zimbabwean exemption certificate to live and work in south africa so i hope that is very clear to you uh, i am yet to get clarification on those who are applying for the business permits because you know that there is a lot of other stuff that is needed for example you need to be compliant with the sars you need to be uh to have a certain threshold that is 5 million that is required for you to have or to 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 get a business permit in south africa so maybe those might still need to apply for a waiver that is people who are applying for a business permit but i'm yet to get clarification and today is monday i'm going to talk to them then i will come back and address your needs but those that are applying for a general work visa you can directly apply and then there are many many others who are asking when the application process is going to start the application process never stopped so you can apply for a general work visa right away because you know that towards the end and the zep expires on the 31st of december 2024 so towards the end there will be a lot happening we will be close to the deadline uh people will be rushing home and everybody else will be squeezing in that short space of time to try and apply pay and book appointments you remember the problem that you had last year where there were scarce slots for people to apply and others ended up having to travel outside the provinces where they are based because the slots had already been taken especially in Houting so to avoid that last minute rush the advice is for you to apply right away start applying now pay and book your appointments and you will also remember that the money that is involved right now 
is quite a lot. It's 3,255 rands. And many of those who hold the Zimbabwe exemption permit are doing manual jobs. They can hardly afford that amount. And it's needed. It's wanted all at once. Because you can't book an appointment if you haven't paid it all. So you need to start applying now and paying so that you don't give yourself that added pressure towards December where you have to be buying stuff for your relatives back home. So this is what I wanted to address. Start applying for your general work visa now. You no longer need to go via the ZEP, I mean the waiver. If you have applied for a waiver, whether or not you have obtained the outcome, just rush and apply for a general work visa because you will be refunded. And then we've also, we've also spoken to those that tried to go and submit for their waiver uh, applications at VFS and they were told that they no longer need that, they were turned back. So the fact is, if you had applied uh, but you had it and paid for a waiver, don't pay for it. Apply for a general work visa. If you had already submitted and you are awaiting your outcome, just go and apply for a general work visa. The, the modalities and the processes and procedure of how you are going to be refunded will be explained to you. But for now, just apply for a general work visa. So, thank you very much. I hope you understood what I said. Uh, if you have any questions, please use the comment section underneath the video. Ask us whatever questions you want to ask. We will respond to them. If we don't have the answer right away, we're going to inquire for you and then give you the right information. Uh, if you want to talk to me directly, you can WhatsApp me on plus two seven seven three nine six two. 3075 plus 2773 Don't call, don't send a voice note, send a text. If you do want to call, ask me first what time you can call me. If you do want to send a voice note, ask me first if you can do that. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.